What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Crooked Man. And I'm sorry, and I'm sorry that I haven't been posting uh, as frequently. Um, it's just because, like, like I said, I've said this previously on my channel. I really don't have a lot of time. Like, like I do this, I do this channel on my free time, and now that school started up, it's kind of hard to focus on what I want to do, which is this. I, I love, I love enjoying like a hobby this is like sort of like a hobby i just record edit a little bit post it just have some fun with it i don't care if no one watches it you know it's just that's just how i enjoy it right but you know uh it's just more entertaining for me and i really haven't had enough free time so yeah uh i'm really excited i haven't played this game for say about three not three two weeks now um, as you guys can see, I got a little bit of a backdrop. It's not like a green screen or anything, but it's a just a little black sheet, you know. It's not bad. I love it so far. So, yeah. Uh, let me see if everything's recording right. And, yeah, we are good. Okay. We're starting off with a bang. All right, let's do this. All right, load. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Uh, if I can remember, we got everything here, I believe. Oh, it's gonna be kind of confusing. Okay. We were going through here. I, um, if I can remember, like, I literally haven't, like, previously watched my video to see where I'm at. I remember we locked up the crooked man. Let's go see if he's there. I think he was over here, I believe. No, he's on the second floor. And I'm pretty sure we're trying to tell, um, the guy that's here, uh, about the crooked man. So, yeah. Let's see. It's not here. It's locked. It's the computer room. Okay. So, yeah. Um, let's do this. This. Ooh. Lecture room two. Lecture room one. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> that just fucking scared me. Okay. Friends of faculty and staff, thank you for coming today. Today, today is for us the best day of our lives. Because today we will leave the nest of our school and begin our own climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school and we owe a great debt to it. Debt. See? Uh, my mask, I fucking just fucked it up. It's really loose now, so... Yeah. Uh, though even if they manage to graduate, some of us will need to put a little bit more time into their studies. <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common. They're, they fill to, they f they're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet uninsured futures. Yet unsured, unsured, un unsured, unsured future, unsure futures. Here we go. And may we have God's grace. Okay. D oh, D. D. How'd you get in the lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Uh, you forget I graduated here, dummy. I know all the secret ways. I said it. Fuck. Uh, uh, well, what are you listening to? A tape? Yeah, for my graduation day. Man, it really has been three years. I was getting nostalgic for this place and even abandoned. It really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when, um, when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying. Hey, lay off it. Yeah, I could pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home. I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Okay. D look greasy as fuck, I'm, I'm gonna be real. He needs to take a shower. Uh, <laughs> uh, next up is going to be my sixth attempt. 
Damn, bro. At this point, fucking give up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There were lots of great guys in my class, but most of them passed in one shot. Becoming a lawyer has been my dream when I, since I was a kid, so I felt happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass the bar exam for sure this time. Wait. Why, dude, do you see how bad I am at writing? I just completely fucking disregarded that, and I just put in my own words. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Any more, I'll be way behind my classmates. I think you're pretty behind right now, man. Fucking six. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain, but there's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering in abandoned school, but damn, you really are nuts, huh? Shut the fuck up, D. You don't know what I've been through, motherfucker. Seriously, a monster? Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're t being a total doofus. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And, wait, oh, David, do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... Ahem. Don't try to debate with me, alright? I'm a talented, soon-to-be lawyer. You have no match with me. This guy, this guy needs to shut the fuck up, D. Alright, you're being a fucking dickhead right now. I'm being totally honest. Ugh. Do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Exactly, that's what you need to do. If motherfuckers don't believe you, just... Fuck him. Fuck him. That's what I would do. Yeah, I will do that. Thanks. Like I, like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater? Alma mater? What the fuck does that mean? Hey, Paul. I got in. What, what really? You got into flight school? Oh my god, David, you got it to flat school. I'm so proud of you, bro. Thanks, Broski. <laughs> That's crazy, David. I can't even get I can't even do a handstand. What? That's crazy, David. You got into flight school? I can't even do a handstand. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you you can really do it if you try, man. Haha, <laughs> thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot. Yeah, I still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. Totally will be. And make sure you give me a ride. I'd love to fly above the city sometimes. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did it. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Okay, okay. So Paul's a good friend, bro. And then you got Mur Muriel. Fuck her. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going whatever. I, I was just going whatever I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. Okay, I look back. Yes. Okay. I guess. What's this? The school newspaper is posted up. Dude, <laughs> I thought that was, I thought that was, uh, Walter White Jr. Flynn. Uh, Julius Stone Law School, Topics of the Week, a big hand for Michael Stanham. Today we must pay tribute to our m friend Michael for the latest achievement of di his digression. In regards to current international law, he made an appearance in r regional collection. Ah, uh, okay. Birthday, age 20, resident Marble Hill. Okay, uh, Mike, wait. He continues to study hard in the hopes, anyway, okay. So, okay. 6, uh, 1920. Okay. okay, let's see if there's anything else here. Now we have a whole new shit to explore. 
right. Lecture room two. Oh, the keyhole is painted over and won't open. Lecture room three. It's locked. So a note on the floor. Found a scrap from the notebook. The rules match the other pages, so he was here. David, I don't know if you want to put two and two together, but my guy, the crooked man, has to be the motherfucker leaving these notes. I don't know how you can see. Even if I was in this situation, I would put that two together. So this motherfucker is following all of this, and he's with this note shit too? I would assume so. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed, but I didn't receive that blessing. What's the problem with me? Who refused to pick me and leave me behind in the dust? I loathe those meaningless days. He had a leaflet for this school. It was in his de in the desk. Felt like it was important. What was he trying? Was he trying to be a lawyer like Dee was? I guess this would imply he didn't become one. Damn. Lecture room four. The keyhole is painted over. Auditorium. Hmm. Really? Let me read this. What's his name? Michael Stanham. I'm gonna assume that the he is... Okay, now we gotta be careful. I thought this was gonna be a little bit bigger. Janitor's room. So I, I literally completely forgot how this map lays out. I literally haven't played this game in fucking forever. And the bathroom is open? Yeah. The men's bathroom. The woman's bathroom. What about the basement? Is the basement now? But I remember it was locked. The basement reference room is locked from the other side. Couldn't you take the elevator? The elevator on the second floor to the basement? That'd be possible. No buckies. Hmm. No. I, re I remember someone had their name, like their birth date, as like a password. Hmm. I'm. I got a feeling that the. What do you call it? Oh, that's the screwdriver stuff. Uh, I got a feeling that um the elevator, you know. That would, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Let me just, I really want to raise my monitor up because I have my mic right there. Okay, there we go. It's a lot better. It's locked. The computer room. So we need to find the computer room key. The parlor. Okay, that's that room. Okay. Did I see something in that window? It's completely dark out. I don't know if I saw something. I think I saw something through that window. Could be tripping. Or oh, I have like floaties in my eyes. You guys know floaties? Those things are weird. I still don't know what those are. Sort of diary. Lost to know what my secret was. So I couldn't get into the computer. Who's this? Franz Moore. I need if his thing is right here. I lost a note in my security box. I thought I had, I had it when I was writing for the seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in the book somehow. Maybe I should go take a look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does. Okay. So I need to go to the reference room to get this box. I would believe so. Though I don't remember where the reference room is. I need to open up that as well. Six digit pin. Can't go in there anymore. Oh, that's where the crooked man is. Okay, okay, okay. Just, I'm just kind of lost right now. So we need to find the reference room. Lefty Lewis. You, Eugene. I think that's what it is. Eugene. Oh, fucking no. Reference room. 
So in here somewhere. I would assume the elevators for carrying books to the basement has no power, so it doesn't work. The shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form to be okay, or it will be prohibited. We go read that one more time to figure this out because I'm kind of lost. I don't know. I was literally just reading that. Uh, if I. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow. Maybe I should go take a look. Okay. There we go. He left it in a book. I guess. It's really weird. I don't know how you can do that. Despite circumstances. Yes, yes. I read that. Unless I... I don't think I have the computer room key. Whoops. For the seminar. open that somewhere hmm you know I'm actually kind of lost right now hmm. since we haven't found it yet I know that we find it because um the way that this game works as the way I'm seeing is when you uh, find something that would contain the note it leads to a trigger like this so we found a note somewhere for this let's try Is that it? no it wasn't so we found the note somewhere in this room so we have to find where we find found it in this for a fact we found this so this is Sidey Peterson's Sidey Peterson's Let's read this. Wait, hold up. Okay. Looks like some sort of diary. Michael's discretion made uh, discretion. Okay, I can never. I'm so happy for him. He'd be a prodigy. Oh, Michael. Oh, this is where it is. This is where it is. Uh, this would be Michael's birthday. Zero six one nine. Ooh, motherfucker, let me go in. Zero six one nine. Whoops. Okay. You know, I've never really thought that I am a fucking genius, okay? I am a fucking genius. There's a key to the lecture room. Oh, okay. So that would be for lecture room, I think, two or th five. One of those two. No, man. I'm kind of like, I'm too smart for my own good. Lecture room three. Right. Um, let's look around here before we go to the actual stuff. Trash can. I'm going to trash can. I'm going to scrap from a notebook. <clears throat> I knew there was, a, there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitions, youthfulness wouldn't let me. My ambitions, ambitions, youthfulness wouldn't let me. That 
Nobody writes like that. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woke. I wanted to be woken up. To be told I have not. I am a not. Something you liked. I have not. It should there's there are haves and have nots. People who dream like can't fucking read. I can't read. People, people whose dreams can come true, and oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, again, something in my head just starts hurting bad. The memories, right? <gasps> Oh shit, finally it. Yeah. Oh fuck. To the damn monster, why, why are you chasing me? <laughs> uh. Oh fuck. Ugh. Oh, what the fuck happened to David? Y'all see that? Motherfucker got like red eyes. <laughs> A am I alive? But the monster is gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left. Damn it. Ugh, my neck hurts. I, I feel so sluggish. I, I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should trust. I should try to rest some while. Somewhere. Damn, motherfucker, move a step. Let's read this. There's a note about a semester. Semester at 621 at the auditorium. Wait. Sem seminar. Crime amongst the improvised. And it's improv. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh. Now that now that activated, we can go to the library and check the crime books. I have to go to the nurses' room. That's where the beds were, and I think it's over here. Yeah, I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> It's dark as shit in my room, and I don't want to hear this. Mom? Are you crying again? Sorry, I, I can't do a thing. I can't even con console you. But to be honest, bro, when I saw the crooked man behind David, I thought he was touching his butt. He was touching his butt, man. He was grabbing it, he was like A dream? It's the reword up magazine! Uh, yeah, mom always cried in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid though. Well, I'm feeling better now. Alright, let's go. Damn! Did he always run this fast? Holy. Okay. There we go. See? God, I thank you for blessing me. With being so fucking smart. Criminal behavior and psychological approach. That notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm, there's a slip of paper in here. What's the number? 99814. I'm so smart. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start shedding a tear. The cooking man's gonna beat me here. Nope. <clears throat> so good. 
Let's just get to the computer room inside. Let's fucking go. Come on, man. Give me some sugar. Mm. All right. Computer room is either on the second floor or third floor. Yeah, no, I don't think it's here. Yeah. the computer room you looking at porn what you looking at over there David 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 Davis this laptop computer there's no power trash can fold with crumpled paper one four four two four six one four four two four six Push more, push more, push more. One, four, four, two, four, six. <clears throat> Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but those persistent we learned here will make us resume. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. What the, the laptop? It, but it wasn't on. However, as veiled ve 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 quotation, there was something we can eliminate. About it's about David Hoover. Question mark exclamation point. Hmm. He was highly skilled, kind to all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Riding behind an innocent face, he was fooling all his pupils and professors. <gasps> David! Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment? For betraying his friends and mentors. Oh, fuck David. Boo, fuck David. I don't think so. He should be forever punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Hey, fuck David. Fuck David. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> you are the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. <laughs> die, die, die. Stop! Damn, David, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm not a coward. I just... I heard a scream. Was that you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry to startle you. It, it's nothing. Hey, hey, dude. Are you okay? You're, you're super pale. Just kind of tired. Motherfucker just took a nap. A nap. Motherfucker got choked out. <laughs> I'm going to fuck it. Oh, I'm tired. Like, what? I came a long way and I haven't slept. Yes, you have. Don't fucking lie. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Dot, 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 dot. D's gonna fuck David. What's this porn music, bro? Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. It's actually like he built Cosby that he laced it. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you. Leave me be. Drink it, jeez. You really look like you need food and a drink. And I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will you? 
All right, things. But all this. But what's all this from the guy who's calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on. I'm not. I'm not like a heartless. It's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. This guy in his fucking dreams, bro. I hate motherfuckers that just be talking about this shit. To be. Besides, maybe it's faith, but tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once so I'm a lawyer. Huh. That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at it at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around here, particularly a man about my age? This shit again. But hmm, nope, no one. He's who you're looking for? Yeah. Thought I don't really know. Yeah, though I don't really know what he looks like. Tell me if you've seen him, okay? You got it. Doubt anyone will be around here though. Oh, but can I ask something too? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. His room is on the third floor, but I got a number of logs on my finger, and I was thinking the professor might still have some lectures for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? All right, got it. I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell. Don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you'd be careful. You be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself, anyhow. Smell ya. Smell ya later. P U. Hmm. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. Got an energy drink. Got an energy drink. Got an energy drink. Got an energy drink. Save. Trash can filled with crumpled paper. One four four two four six. This is so weird. Thank you. It looks like some old, sort of diary. Finally, done with finals. Got everyone got their appropriate grades, of course. There's that lone D. I teach him so much. He doesn't even get the basics. He's lag he's lagging behind everyone else. And yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. Yeah, tell me about it. That's all that motherfucker talks about. That nickname D stands for Dreamer. Apparently it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade that he always gets. Damn, fucking clowning on him, bro. <laughs> I hate how. Okay. I hate how he frowns over me too. I particularly have, and I had particularly have to act nice to him, and he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up on his dreams soon and finds another path. This is about Dean. It's awful that he said all these things about a student. That maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. <laughs> Poor D, bro. There, I tore the page out. D won't. Wouldn't want D coming and finding this. Got a page from Andrew's diary. I really didn't. That really didn't help me.
Oh. It didn't really help me at all. <laughs> Am I supposed to find D now? Tell him that we... Monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since I couldn't kill him before? Since he couldn't kill me before? I'm going to have to pursue D to leave. Persuade D to leave. D to leave is too dangerous. Here, I'll go look for him. Motherfucker, you there? I'm gonna follow him. You got a tiny dick, crooked man. You got a tiny dick. You're saying that mine's bigger than yours. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Can I use the? I want to use the elevator. I don't know. I think I should just end the episode right here because it is dragging on, and it's at a pretty climactic point, if I do say so myself. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, I'll try my best to post more frequently. I know that said that in the past but it's literally just like i have no free time because of school uh school's really just been kicking my ass with literally like school started and i'm getting so many fucking tests so many assignments and it's just really annoying but uh yeah uh so i'll try my best to post more often and i hope you guys have a Good morning, a good evening, and a good night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.